In this video, we're going to be going over just a few gas law practice problems from Chapter 5. And a small little recap from the Chapter 5 video, we have the combined gas law and the ideal gas law. And we use ideal gas law when the problem mentions moles or grams, and we use the com combined gas law when it doesn't mention moles or grams. Our temperature has to be in Kelvin. Our ideal gas law constant is 0 0.0821 and 1 ATM equals 760 millimeters of mercury equals 760 torr. These are um, units for pressure. And so moving on to our first problem. 30, 322 liters of hydrogen occupies the volume of 197 liters at standard temperature and pressure. If the initial temperature of the hydrogen was 37 degrees Celsius, Celsius what is its initial temperature? pressure, excuse me. So first we have to figure out which formula we're going to use and the problem does not mention moles or grams so we're going to use the combined gas law. And we need to write down what we know, what information is given to us in our problem. So let me make that a little bit thicker. What do we know? Well, we know that our initial volume equals 322 liters. Our V2 is 197 liters. T1 is 37 degrees Celsius. But of course we have to convert that to Kelvin, so we're going to 273. That's going to be 310 Kelvin. T2 is at standard temperature and pressure, so that's automatically 273 Kelvin. And they're asking, for what do we have to find? And they're asking us for initial pressure P1. So this is what we're looking for. So we have to rearrange our equation to get P1. So we're going to have to divide by V1 over T1 isolate it. And this is going to cancel. And when we multiply, when we divide by a fraction, we really multiply by the reciprocal. So P1 equals it's going to be P2 V2 over T2 times the reciprocal of this T1 over V1. And so at this point, we have everything we need to just plug everything in. So we're going to say, P1 equals P2. Oh, I never wrote P2. P2 equals 1 to ATM because we're at standard temperature and pressure. P1 equals 1 ATM times I have 197 liters times 310 Kelvin divided by T2, 273 Kelvin and 322 liters. And Our units cancel. Oh, liters, liters, Kelvin, Kelvin. We want to get ATM, and that's what we're going to be left with. So our answer should be about 0 0.69 ATM. So we're going to move to the next problem. 
20 liter container is filled with helium and the pressure is 150 atm and the temperature is 30 degrees celsius how many fifth how many five liter balloons can be filled when the temperature is 22 degrees celsius and the atmospheric pressure is 755 milliliters millimeters and so which formula are we going to use well, we don't have moles or grams in the question, so we're going to use combined gas law. And so we have to think about what, what we know and what they're asking us for. So what do we know? Well, we know that V1 equals 20 liters, P1 equals 150 atm, and T1 equals 30 degrees Celsius. We know that P2 equals 755 millimeters of mercury. And then of course we have to divide by 760 to convert to ATM. That's gonna be about 0.99 ATM. And T2 equals 22 degrees Celsius that we have to convert to Kelvin. And they're asking how many five liter balloons can be filled. And so because the what they're asking us gives us the units of liters, what we need to figure out is V2. But we also have to figure out how many balloons. So we're looking for V2, so we have to isolate our formula, or isolate V2 from our formula. And so we're gonna have to divide by P2 over T2. And again, when we divide by a fraction, we're really gonna multiply by the reciprocal, so. So V2 is going to equal P1 V1 over T1 times T2 over P2. And so again, now we just simply have a plug and chug. So we have 150 ATM. times 20 liters times T2, 295 Kelvin, divided by 303 Kelvin times 0 0.99 ATM. Should leave us with liters. And that should be around 2,940 liters, right, per V2. And it asks us how many 5 liter balloons can be filled. So we have to divide this by 5 liters. And that should be about 588 balloons. So, 
And to our last and final problem. At what temperature will 0.654 moles of neon gas occupy 12.3 liters at 1.95 atmospheres? So this problem, we see moles. So that's a good indication for us to use PV equals nRT. And so what do we know? What do we know? Well, we know that pressure equals 1.95 atm. I know volume equals 12, oops, 12.30 liters. We know that N is always equal to 0 0.0821 liters ATM over moles times Kelvin. Or excuse me, R, that's R, not N. And N, the number of moles, is 0 0.654 moles. And they're asking for temperature. So I'm going to rearrange my equation to solve for temperature. So we're going to divide by N times R. So our new equation is PV over NR equals T. So our pressure is 1.95 atm times our volume 12.30 liters divided by our moles, 0 0.654 moles, times our gas constant, 0 0.0821 liters ATM, moles times Kelvin. And our ATM are going to cancel, our moles are going to cancel, our liters are going to cancel, and when we have a fraction of our fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal, so our K is going to flip up into the numerator, leaving us with temperature. So when we plug all this in, we should get around 447 Kelvin. And if the problem had asked what temperature in Celsius, then what all you would have to do is subtract 273 from this. But it didn't ask for Celsius, so we're just going to leave this at 447 Kelvin.